Okay. All right. I wanted to say because I couldn't, uh, I couldn't um make the time more bigger because there's some podcast that won't fit in the uh YouTube um you know the YouTube MP3 that I tried to put into uh, the the software that I tried to uh use for putting the MP3 into YouTube. That's what I'm trying to say. But uh, so well. Taylor Swift is getting the better part of her birthday. Uh, even though Travis K lost on the referee count, that gave me another reason why I do double down. But there was another game that uh, gave me a reason why I do double downs. But other than that, uh, they are making me squirm because I was really nervous that I was going into flashback and uh, going back to the day, uh, the day that I found out that my wife died and seeing Dr. Renee. And the uh, the chaplain was with the doctor, and me freaking out because I know as soon as I see that ring, that there was already report that um uh they're already in New York. It is twelve o'clock here, but it's probably eleven o'clock. Uh, probably eleven o'clock in New York, because we had different time zones. And uh, the Travis K party is is scheduled not to be until tonight. Now, I did not know Times. Uh, uh, the Times had a gala until I read the story that uh, Taylor Swift uh, passed, uh, you know, attending the gala and wanted to hang out during the birthday week. We we'll, we'll just understand it was somebody's birthday. Well, I was in the group home, and thankfully, the the one that was supposed to be clean elect. Uh, you know, um, surprised me with a bir- uh with a birthday pizza. Well, it not only surprised me, but um, we had it around the house, and uh, they say happy birthday. But anyway, other than that, uh, uh, okay. So, like I said before, I seen the the new house in uh in Kansas City, um, that Travis Cape brought. I heard the uh the um. The song that uh, she changed the lyric at the uh, the concert where Travis K and his father was okay. Then the other day, the announcer uh, accidentally uh, said the uh, that's uh, Travis K's wife, and the other commentator said no girlfriend, uh, or the other commentator said yet, and. Then they keep the records of how many times that the chief win uh, versus losses with uh, t- um, Teleflip there, but the chief owner still gave uh, t- uh, Teleflip a birthday gift. Uh, oh my god, this is uh, really staggering. Um, okay, okay. Okay, so now there's pictures of them holding hands that will be on the marquee, but. It'll be definitely over after they finally pop the question on the birthday. They're probably going to make me squirm, make me squirm all day. To, to tell you, too, I didn't want to be up. I was, like, shaking and whatever like that. I was scared to have uh, flashbacks. I already had a flashback early this week when I left the other second palace. And when I was moving to the, hopefully, that would remain the current palace, uh, the current second palace. Uh, I was, uh, I was into a flashback that day of when I got kicked out in September. And I had no time to prepare. I mean, even though I was going to fight Social Security, I had no time to prepare. I was only given 30 minutes to leave. And then when I was told that we was going to leave the same day, it was crazy. But back to the birthday girl. So, I even read there that her movie, along with there's other uh, movie that got uh, nominated for the Golden Globe, she found out that the game that uh, that uh, the Chiefs lost, that she got a Golden Globe no- no- nomination. When the movie is only in theaters, they haven't even popped up on YouTube yet, when some of the other movies do pop up on YouTube sometimes at the same time. But her movie... Have got an eye for the Golden Globe nomination. 
And I was saying, uh, also the Super Mario Brothers movie. Even though I haven't seen it, I'm planning on planning on seeing it. I could buy it on YouTube, but I'm planning on seeing it because I can buy it. But other other than that, I'm going to cheer for Super Mario Brothers. I'm, I'm cheering for the Super Mario Brothers movie. I'm cheering for that to win the Golden Globe. So come on, Super Mario Mario Brothers movie. Be Taylor Swift. Be Taylor Swift, please. Because this day. This week, it just put me over the top. Put me over the top. I don't want to have a flashback of the Dr. Renee and the chaplain. I don't want to have another flashback this week. I mean, I'm already almost fainting in the shower. Of all things. Of all things. Oh, boy. So, I'm waiting when I could just let it all out. I don't want it to be late in the night, and then, and then I can't even scream at late in the night. And then, you know, as soon as I see that big rock, everybody's going to count it. I bet you Taylor Swift is going to do her face version of all the single ladies, just like Beyonce did, and slapping me in the face when she did that when I was going, uh, when I was uh, in the middle of going to March. Yeah. Oh, they want me to squirm. They want me to at the time of this podcast recording, time of this special podcast recording, it is twelve oh five. I'm gonna. I think we're gonna go to and read you what I said on my. No, not ask because I had to do a part one, part two. No, I'm gonna go to my Facebook page, and that that that'll be better because that's longer. If they gonna allow me to find it. Oh my god. Uh, because I thought that they was going to wait till Christmas at least get, to get the game in the Christmas. See, okay, I was going to get ready for that and get prepared for that because Christmas is a time that I, uh, that I definitely miss my wife because it was her, her, it was her favorite holiday. And then she played Christmas music every time, you know, every, every day when she was alive even after Christmas, even was it uh, even was it was it Christmas, and so I can't even hear Christmas music anymore, and this is why I was gonna wait to like go to uh the day program because I'm scared that they're gonna play Christmas music, and then I hope they have flood insurance. <laughs> I hope they literally have hope they have flood insurance. All right, so this is what I did when I realized they have nothing. That I have nothing, I'm not able to do nothing about my latest musical cross failure. My first musical cross was Madonna when I was young. Second musical, yeah, first musical cross that, that fell twice was Madonna. She married to uh, Sean Penn and Guy Ritchie. Second musical cross that failed was Janet Jackson. And then, oh, I found this out. It was just the Timberlake after the the, the, the the award show malfunction at the Super Bowl halftime show, which he was doing, uh, ruined her career, but she didn't speak up about it. I learned that from a Justin Timberlake uh, 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 um, exposure video. I mean, I still like some of his music, but that made me mad because I, I happen to be a, I haven't had a crush on Janet Jackson, and she got married. Okay, then it was Beyonce and Jay Z. Well, okay, when I found out that uh, uh, Janet Jackson got married, uh, I was listening to the Wendy Williams show, and that broke my heart. So I stopped listening to Wendy Williams for a while, and then I was oh, is it probably time for lunch time already? But uh, let me. Uh, I might have to do a part two of this. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is a part two of this. And then I'll get back to the so I I was talking about what why uh, my failures and musical crushes, so I'll get back to you. There will be a part two.